these are the days of our lives. I am so sorry it's taken so long, but there is so much to this story. And this is what I get for not giving you little updates along the way and then taking like four experiences and jamming it into one. But okay, let's wrap it up. Let's bring it on home. I decided along with Dr. Manueli that he said, if you were my sister, you know, this is the way I would be moving along. And that is we've decided to go slow. We've decided to go slowly with the Marpy expander and the teeth, the whole kit and caboodle so that we can mitigate any issues. He did look at like the, at the gum area. He looked at you know, the bone structure. He said that all looked really good. You know, that, you know, very little risk. He did say when it comes to the face shape, you know, the one, the only thing that I didn't love, he says, you know, your, the nose can be a little bit wider. I'm like, I don't want a big nose. Um, but he showed, again, he showed me the pictures and honestly, I thought everyone looked more youthful and, and their noses looked great. I, I, you know, I didn't see anything that was like, oh, that's a big nose or, you know, like it didn't, it didn't change that much, um, that it would be a noticeable thing. And he said, so we go slow mitigate that big crack and also I think it's a little less painful if you do that too because you have to you have to turn it you guys it has I'm getting six screws six screws up there and you have to turn it with a key but we're gonna turn slowly and then naturally so he says about 19 to 23 months and he needed to find out if Dr. Zoggy needs me to have at least three millimeters or five millimeters in order for me to have the tongue tie release during the process. Obviously, once I get this thing in, I wanna make sure that my mouth is like calm down and relaxed before I get the tongue tie, because then I'll have like a real host of like, I won't know what I'll be able to do. My mouth will just be a total wreck. So I left and they didn't tell me how much. They didn't tell me how much. And they said, we've got to work up the numbers. Dr. Um, Dr. Manuelli says, look, I'll, I'll work with you. I'll work with you on the, you, you know, you like, again, I'm, I've been a pat, my kids have been patients. Um, and he knows I've spent the money on this. He said, I'll work with you on this. And then he asked me, so would you be willing to share, you know, your journey? And I'm like, of course I'm going to share my journey. And I said, and honestly, the only way I'm going to get through this, you guys, is to be able to share this with you is to share. I'm, so I, I said, yes, I would love to share that. I said, I'm already sharing my tongue tie journey. So it's a natural fit for me. I want people to be educated. And then of course I went on a rant. I went on a rant and said, you know, Dr. Manueli, I am pissed, PO'd. I am PO'd, I am mad at our healthcare system. I'm mad that there is, the dental insurance is not connected to men, medical insurance because everything starts in the mouth. That makes me mad. It makes me angry that people can't afford dental insurance, let alone medical insurance. It just, it's wrong, and I want to do my part, A, helping people to understand the connection of the tongue tie, you know, the mouth expansion, all of that, how it relates to the rest of the body. But I also, somewhere, somehow, I want to help other people that maybe can't afford to get this done, but that have been suffering in silence. I don't know what that looks like, but I just know in my, in my heart, that is something I want to do. And then he understood. He says, I get it. He goes, and we need to have more aware, awareness of this. It needs to be put out there. So I'm going to put it out there. Anyway, so I left and they said they would let me know at the end of the day, you know, how much it was going to cost. So then of course I'm on pins and needles because I know when I initially called, it was anywhere from, I don't know, like $12,000. And I looked on online, it's 12,000 to like 60,000. So I was holding my breath. I went home and then I started TikToking, TikToking and Googling and looking at the Marpy and I'm like, oh my God, I just like, I started panicking. I like having these like panic attacks of like, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. I'm not gonna be able to talk. I'm gonna be embarrassed. I'm gonna be like in pain. What am I doing? What am I doing? That I'm thinking, oh, for the greater good, for the greater good of the neck and the shoulders. You can do this, you can do this. And then I didn't get a call that day. I didn't get a call that day. And actually I took a hike that afternoon, which was really good because it helped me kind of like not think about it too much, but I had a bad night's sleep because I was thinking the pain, the, the journey and the cost. About two o'clock in the afternoon, I finally called. I called at like 12, but they take an hour and a half lunch break. So I called to say like, you know, have you gotten any kind of pricing? And the, the gal go, oh, your ears must have been burning. We were just, was just putting some things together. So we went through um, you kind of all, all of the cost and I'm like holding my breath. And then, um, I mean, we kind of 
she said, we kind of come up with, you know, an agreement that, you know, we can give you a price break because you've, you know, you've, you've been here, you've spent money on this and, you know, we want to help you. And, you know, if you're willing to share your journey as well, then I think we can make this work, which I was so unbelievable. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry because I'm already in this. I'm already in this for, like I said, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000. Doesn't include the doctor that, you know, Dr. Zaghi getting it done. And so this, it just felt like a gift that they were willing to work with me. Yeah. And so my Marpy device is on order and it will be here in about two weeks. And I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm scared of the pain. I'm, sc I'm really scared of them screwing. The I'm scared of the shots, um, of the pain, of the not being able to talk. That makes me scared. I'm scared. I know I can get through it. I've had three babies. And there are plenty of people that do this. Unfortunately, they all share mostly their horror stories. I know that the end result can be beautiful and you know, the end result of not having this chronic pain of having more space for my tongue and my mouth and less of the jaw pain from TMJ, I know that will be worth it. But I have to tell you, I, I am nervous. And so I am leaning on you guys, please be kind, be supportive for me. I'll, I'll share the whole journey with you. In fact, I'm gonna be interviewing Dr. Zaghi on the 20th of this month. I'm gonna be doing a live with Dr. Zaghi so that we can kind of unpack you know, the procedure and what I'm going through, which is amazing. And then I am going to also be interviewing Dr. Manueli, who will be doing the whole Marpy teeth expansion journey. Stomach hurts, my stomach hurts. I'm, this is a lot, this is a lot. I was talking to, to Rosa, my housekeeper nanny today, and I, I told her everything. You know, she, she was on a three day, no, like zero water fast, like even just fast with no food, no water, no nothing for three days because she's really religious and she's just so good and I love her so much. She just came back, so I hadn't seen her in a few days and I gave her the update. I'm sorry, I'm talking so fast. I gave her the update of everything and she was like, you can do this. You can do this. You know, it will be painful, but just think about not having this. She, she knows. She's been with me for 22 years. She knows the lifelong pain that I have been dealing with. So she kind of talked me off the ledge, but honestly, beauty wise I may be looking like the hillbilly I mean I'm from Kentucky originally and I may start looking like it with this with the gap I, you know he says we're not gonna have a big gap but you know I'm just not gonna who knows I could have a bigger gap than I think I'm gonna have but if I have the lisp you guys be kind okay I'm gonna do my best to speak really well but if I can't say my s's or whatever else um, at any rate we're doing this I'm in I'm in deep and I, I am not a quitter I am a winner. We're going to keep the eye on the prize, which is the tongue tie release, which is the um, you know new improved jaw with more tongue space. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. And oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? The other thing is that's really cool is that the um, Dr. Manueli said that I shouldn't have to have any any extra teeth. And I said, I go, how's that? You know, you make space. They're going to have to, you're going to have to put extra teeth in there. He says, no, because we are moving the jaw forward. And he goes, and your bone, your bone will remold. You'll have like this whole new palate that will, you know, that reform, which is amazing. The body is amazing. The thing he did say is, you know, you have that. So I have these bone spurs. I mentioned that in the first video. I have these two little bone spurs that come in when your mouth is tight and crunched or you TMJ it. You get these bone spurs that can grow and grow. And then sometimes you have to get it cut out. Anyway, I have one, and I didn't realize I even had one today. All right? I can't see, under, underneath my roof of my mouth. I thought that everyone had a tongue, you know, I thought everyone had that on their top, but no. And he goes, yours is gonna split in two. I'm like, is that gonna be painful? He goes, no, but I just want you to know you'll have two of those. So I'm gonna have two of those bone spurry things up top. Although, I've lived with it all my life, and it, you know, one, two, you know, it's just a bone spur. That feels so good to get it all out. Yes, I got it all out! Okay, stay tuned, and um, the saga continues. And thank you for being there for me. Really, it means so much. Okay.